Well, hello there, humans of bizarre things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel. I'm Bushkin. Today's video is all about this tank here, and then another tank. In fact, Dos Tanks Per Favor Barman. We're going to be having a look at the T34 and 1 on Lost Temple in this wonderful drive here. And then we're going to be having a look at the M46 pattern on the effervescent uh, Winter Melanovka map. Now, these are two red hot and ready rounds humans getting a little bit of love actually and what I'd like to suggest is if you too have a replay that is outstanding in the field of excellence send it in to me at bushkagaming at gmail.com that number once again bushkagaming at gmail.com exactly like it sounds and you too could become super famous in tens of households around the world this game is pretty cool because I haven't featured the T34 and 1 for quite some time and it's a little bit of a shame because as you can see here team seven sunny uh certainly knows how to make this baby sing this is one of the better tanks in the chinese line and it was good right out of the box. It was a tank that um, turned a few heads and it's got a lot going for it. The, look how low to the ground that is. So it's got a very strong turret and it's got a very, very short upper glacis because it's such a small diminutive number and the turret is mounted so far forward that it's a steep upper glacis. So when you're pulling back behind very, very low objects like this, the turret bounces a lot and the upper glacis becomes an auto bounce zone pretty damn quickly and team sunny is a super patient human and <laughs> he gets his just rewards and another bounce and not only does it have a wonderful little low slung bit of armor it's also got a quietly dominant gun that pumps out a very respectable amount of the dpms the damage per minutes which is exactly what we're looking for here oh oh how many times have you bounced a pair of Russian buttocks and known that things were about to go a lot worse than they were in the previous 30 seconds? Just very, very lucky there that the Yag Panther is kind of blind and doesn't pop out. Another bounce of the 310 Alpha and pumps a bit of 220 Alpha back the way. Gets a nice 233 roll on that one. Oh, hello, big dog. No, thank you, please. I gave it the office. Not interested in talking to you right now. The IS takes a big backward step and Lucas Jensen 1199 takes out another one of the red guys. Team Sunny really struggling with the ping here. I feel for him. Uh, it's almost like he's got proper Australian ping. No bouncing that one. That was a very harmful bit of 400 alpha from the KV-1S. Sets him on fire though. Now that balances things up a lot. Look at how low Sunny is to the ground and how that is ruining any chance of the IS getting the gun down and making hay. Now Swings and roundabouts, fair enough. He's bounced one off the buttocks of the Rusky and then has had one bounce off his buttocks in return. And he's motioning up towards 3,100 damage here in what is an absolutely brilliant performance. It might look like there's a bit of a slideshow going on. That's because Sonny's internet is run by hamsters. And look at him side swiping and side scraping. Ah, uh, side hugging. That was the adjective we were looking for and we found it. And aren't we happy to be part of an adjective filled universe unfortunately here for the Verti, uh, VK30 uh, he is going to find out that Sonny is a tough nut to crack look at him dancing up close and personal he's limber he's lumbering and he's absolutely thundering as he sends this bad guy back to the garage in no uncertain terms and reaches an absolutely cracking score well into the 4Ks they're calling him new who cares? No one else could kill him. Sunny with nearly 2k blocked, 1970, and 4,550 damages to his name. And a well-deserved mastery there for the young man uh, looting and scooting the T-34-1. and Now, we're going to take you from the balmy climbs of Temple off to the cold, rusky winter of Winter Malinovka. And you can see here our uh, Amigo and the M46 pattern 
is primed for a huge game. He's got that eclectic camo on. A little bit look, uh, look. I'll be honest. It looks a little bit like a black ball wrapped up in rubber bands. But whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, and he is topped here, which is always nice when you're in the pattern. Now the pattern, obviously not renowned for its armor profile, but it's a svelte looking tank that has a lot of mobility, a lot of DPM, and is an awful lot of fun to drive. It has. Not got the reputation of some of the other mediums at T9, but I'll tell you what, you absolutely underestimate a pattern at your own peril. Now, this is a somewhat controversial drive. It's certainly not a normal drive. An M46 pattern frontlining is not what you'd expect to see. And he's doing the right thing here, just quietly holding serve, waiting for an opportunity to pop out. And there it is. Wonderful little snapshot on the Scorp G there. Taps one out. 350 Alpha, so certainly not a tank to be trifled with at Tier 8. Able to put a lot of hurting uh, out in a very short space of time. Unfortunately, the double Double Lerva tilt at the front is going less well uh, than could be expected. The T30 next to him, T is, uh, well, let's be honest, there's not much left of the T30 next to him. And the Scorpion G is playing a very, very uh, brave role at the front there. So things things are going poorly, and the Lerva reliant SS Lazio is screaming for help. Well, he should, because bloody hell, things have gone. All ends up at the top of the map, and the green guys are coming a big second uh, with daylight between them and first place. Still, we're at 1,424 damages. We've got a lot of DPM. Well worth the hit point trade, as Adam Boss 63 rolls up and gives bogged down a little taste of that M46 medicine. Oh, were well, you not watching? A low roll is not what we're after. We needed big numbers and we needed plenty of them. Uh, but things are coming to balance here. Adam, stay there, says Lazio. And Lazio, you great bloke. You are a caring play alone, says Lazio. Oh, I think he's actually saying, uh, I think he's being somewhat sarcastic there, but... Heavy idiots, Max. Yes, there's a lot of lot of love in the room tonight. A lot of fondness in the air as the green guys come to blows. No, oh, that's not going to work. Back it up, back it up, back it up one time, buddy. Oh, and it's all over now as it is one on five for Adam and the M46 pattern. T30, you are an imbecile. Oh, it's taken a long time to type that, but Adams, come back. Come on, just need a bounce. Lovely switch to APA. Oh, the APCR, but he's taken 600 damages to get and clear that tank. And was it the right tank? Well, he's got a Tortoise left and a Yag Tiger, who are both very, very slow. And then there are a couple of Carnarvons. Here comes the Yag. Everybody, everybody, here comes the hook. And woo -hoo -hoo, off the Richter, baby. One behind, one in front, and another one coming. Can he sneak around the corner? He can. Now he's going to use that mobility, that ability, that mobility. Get around him. And he does. The tortoise, very slow to react there. Adam Boss is looking like he can pump one in the back door. Doesn't muck around. He's on the pump now as he seeks the top of the map and a little bit of respite from the two Carnarvons who have been hounding him mercilessly. Now he's going to let Camo reset. Oh! Camo's reset, certainly. The Carnarvon is not taking no for an answer. No backward steps in this man's army as he climbs the mountain. However, he hasn't really reckoned on the DPM square off here. Adam has a lot of nasty, and the Carnarvon, although it is a very good DPM tank, does not quite feature in the same kind of stakes as a proper tier 9 medium like the M46 pattern. And he takes two big doses right to the donk. That's a miss from that Carnarvon. This is looking a little bit grim for the boys in red. 402 left. He can't afford to lose any more of the hit points. A reverse side scrape off the big rock at the top of the turn buckle and Boomski. Only one to go now. One tank between Adam Boss and complete domination as he shuffles off. This is a tough one though. Does he risk it all? 
Does he hope that the tortoise makes a mistake? The tortoise is a seasoned campaigner. He's not going to falter here. He knows what's at stake. He understands the odds. And he's all the better for recent racing as he eyeballs the M46 Patton, who is simply a hair's breadth away from disaster at the top of the map. Now, I like this drive from Adam. He's getting further away from the danger. He's opening up a little bit of space. Going to reset the camouflage and then work on doing bad things to good people. Now this is a great move. He's going exactly back the way he came with a little bit of speed, a little bit of pace. Is it going to be Alacrity versus the tedious Tortoise? That's exactly what's going on. Flying down from the top of the mountain. The Tortoise is in the wrong spot and it's all over. What a drive from this young man. Adam Boss, a truly superb 1v5 to finish us out here at Bushka Central. Look after yourselves, Kolobinovskis. And as always, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.